Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If we haven't even met before, my name is Shiv Hello, If you're coming back then welcome. So in today's video I am reviewing the new liquid crystal eyeshades from Beauty Bay which look like this. They are absolutely stunning to look at. I love the packaging and everything. And these supposedly are supposed to be a dupe of the Stila liquid eye. I'll have the name of it up on the screen here. They look amazing. I don't know if it was intended to be a dupe or they just wanted to make liquid eyeshadows, but they are amazing and they're inspired by crystals and I'm big into my crystals. I've actually got some on my desk. I have a citrine and an amethyst on my desk and I've got rose quartz by my bed. I love crystals. So I thought this was a really, really cool launch. I kindly got sent these um, from Beauty Bay through affiliate window. So thank you so much. This is a PR sample and I'm really excited to try them out. If you would like to see how they go on my eyes, the look I create, everything like that, then please carry on watching before you carry on watching please give this video a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already it would mean the absolute world if you are already subscribed thank you so much if you just click subscribe thank you so much and let's just carry on and test these babies out so as you can see the rest of my face is pretty much done apart from the main part of the eyes i've done my base and everything done my brows lips bronzer blush highlight i literally wanted this video to be mainly just focused on these i feel like i'm gonna mix maybe like two or three shades just to get a feel for them and then i might do a another look using the rest of the shades that i don't use in another video i've already put like a mid brown through the crease just as a starting point it's literally just a bit of bronzer and a round in brown eyeshadow it's nothing exciting i have mac well lipstick on my lips if you were curious. So let's put the Beauty Bay website. So I am actually prepared to film this video. Here we go. Bye, Beauty Bay. Da -da 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 liquid eyeshadow. I'm on the website now. I did receive like part of the PR parcel. I didn't receive like the crystals and stuff. I know they sent out like sage and crystals and things to bloggers and influencers and things like that, but I got it through affiliate window, so I'm guessing that's why I didn't receive them. I did receive the little cards that have all the info on, but stupidly I've kind of put them in the recycling already. So I'm just gonna read out what it says on the website so they are a range of multi-use glittery and metallic liquids light up your face with beauty bay's crystal inspired pigments living my best lights liquid crystals just made your glitter ritual simple the long-lasting creamy formula can be used alone as a sparkly shade or used over an eyeshadow for a killer metallic finish wear on the lids cheeks and lips for hours of smudge fade and crease free shimmer what else there's six shades and i have all of them here for you and they are all inspired by crystals they're called living my best light and like when you put them together the front kind of goes over all of them which i really really like and it's kind of embossed i just feel like they look really pretty and they retail for six pounds so really really affordable i love beauty bay eyeshadow so i feel like these are going to be pretty good yeah so with the shades we have are we've got opal which is described as a lilac shimmer with silver reflex so i'm going to swatch this one for you right here when i received them in my mail i did put them on instagram stories and did the swatches and everything so make sure you follow me on instagram to see things like that okay so here we go this is opal which is a lilac shimmer with silver reflex which is a very me shade can you see that i really hope that you can i'll probably turn down the exposure a little bit and then kind of bring my hand close to the camera so you can see what it looks like this is so pretty and they don't feel like really sticky which i'm quite quite a big fan of if you can see that I don't think you can I will show this to you it's zoomed up later on okay so that is opal very reflective next up we have fluorite which is described as a duochrome blue purple shimmer and this looks stunning I love colors like this so I'm just gonna go ahead and swatch this for you okay so this is fluorite it looks absolutely stunning Stunning. This one's a little bit thicker than the other one, um, but I don't mind that at all. And you can always like apply these with a brush as well. So that one there is full. You can see that a little bit better. It's stunning. This one reminds me of Mac Blue Brown. Um, I think there's another one that does. No, it's this one. It reminds me of Mac Blue Brown. It seems to have like a brownie base. I don't know. It's a very odd colour. It's purple, then it's blue. It's stunning. Can you see it? Can you see it? I don't know. I'm going to do a zoomed in a little bit. Next up, we have Peach Court, which is a peach shimmer. This is stunning, and I feel like this would be perfect for a festival. It's our little Luke. Love that one. It's kind of like orangey, like peachy coral. Gorgeous. I might bring that on a holiday with me, actually. That would look gorgeous with a tan. That's stunning. Okay, I'm just going to fill up the... Because obviously it's liquid. Just want to make sure it's like an even swatch. 
gorgeous love that next up we have a moonstone which is a silver shimmer now when i first received this i was like oh i probably won't use it because it's like a silvery glitter and i'm not a big fan of silver because i feel like it washes out my eyes however this is stunning so gorgeous so gorgeous it reminds me a little bit of the urban decay heavy metals like glitter in midnight cowboy gorgeous really really glittery and you could kind of mix that into a look or kind of just put it on the inner corner i think that would look so nice next up we have precious topaz now if i remember rightly this is one of the shades which i was literally obsessed with i think i can't remember if it was this one or the next one but it's absolutely gorgeous and this is described as a champagne shimmer gorgeous it's just that one there stunning love that i can't believe these are only six pound as well it's such a good price the packaging you can tell it's like a cheap plastic but it still looks really nice so i'm not really too fussed next up we have rutile which is a bronze shimmer no this is the one that actually became my favorite when i swatched them before here we go I'll twist my hand around bear with me i feel like this is such like an easy look this one rutile you could just pop a dark brown in the crease and pop this over top i might use this actually gorgeous look at it i think you can see it yeah or oh, if i turn my hand like that you can kind of see all the colors gorgeous okay i'm just going to zoom in and show you them up close okay so i've turned down my exposure quite a lot so you can see it i have to have my exposure quite high when i film usually otherwise i look like this dark so there we go these are the shades really really pretty you can see just how reflective they are this is filmed on a ring light and a studio light they are gorgeous let me know which shade is your favorite that's quite a good angle to show you really really pretty so yeah these are the shades absolutely stunning and now i feel like i always do purple so i'm gonna go in with the shade i'm gonna take moonstone which is like the silvery kind of color precious topaz and then rutile at the end see if i can fit that all in my eye <laughs> so i'm gonna start with moonstone and what i'm gonna do is just take the applicator and it just literally just pop that right on the inner corner i want kind of like a blown out glitter look a bit editorial a bit like that euphoria kind of trend that's going around at the moment i haven't watched that tv show i don't even think i have access to that tv show i'm just going to pop that in at the inner corner as well gorgeous i'm not going to blend them together yet i'm going to kind of put them on and then get a, a synthetic brush like this one and then just kind of pat over it to blend them together then i'm going to go in with precious topaz i'm just going to put that over the middle of the eye just overlapping with the moonstone shade love that it's so stunning and then i'm going to go into rutile which is the darkest shade out of all of them it's this one here that really stunning bronze shimmer i'm going to pop it in like the outer corner i'm going to try and like wing it out a little bit but i'm going to be careful because i am going to take the brush later to like do the shape So that kind of like winged it out so now we look a little bit messy i'm just going to take the synthetic brush this is one from fancy co i have a discount code i'll have it on the screen somewhere for you it's just like a fluffy synthetic concealer brush anything like this will do you don't need the specific brush i'm literally just going to go over the top of the glitter very gently just very carefully side to side to kind of like diffuse it a little bit i'm doing this from a very far away mirror so bear with me this does not look nice but from far away it looks cute i'm gonna add like big lashes and everything as well it's gonna like pack over it as well okay i'm just gonna go ahead and finish the other eye like this and i'll be right back i feel like i want to add a little bit more of the moonstone shade surprisingly the silver shimmer did not think i'd ever be saying that but here we go it's like when you first swipe it on it's so intense and i feel like i want it to be really intense i'm literally gonna go ham with this just put it all across there and same on the other eye not being precise with this at all i just want this to be like a blown out kind of editorial vibe glitter look so pretty i feel like i'm in a magazine and they are so freaking pretty thumbs up already love them i feel like there's so many looks you could create with this definitely really good for like spotlight eyes party looks that kind of thing so we have the glitter on the eyes and they're so pretty they almost look like wet i don't know how well it'll be able to see on the camera i actually think i might record it on my front camera i feel like the front camera on iphones picks up the most glitter yeah there you go okay so i'm going to insert this clip into the video now so you can see so 
so pretty yeah as you can see they are so glittery and reflective i'm just gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup so pop my lashes mascara on i think that's it and i'll be right back we're back with lashes on mascara on and now this is the finished look using the beauty bay liquid crystal eyeshadows i really like the way this turned out actually it's a bit editorial vibes kind of harsh here where the brown from the rutile shade kind of like picked up but i really like it i think these shadows are really really versatile you could use them in so many different ways just like pop one on the inner corner just like i've done here with a moonstone shade as like a pop of highlight you could go like crazy and use it as a festival look and pop it like on the cheeks even i think they're so pretty they'd be amazing for halo and spotlight eyes just kind of like dabbing in the center of your lid or just all over the lid if you want like a quick glam look just pop your shade in the crease and pop these on the lid and you're good to go so yeah these are a big thumbs up from me i really like them they don't feel like sticky they did dry like completely down and I'm just going to tap my lid and there's like, like a, two dots of glitter on my finger like I can barely even see them so really really good lasts a long time I've still got them on my hand and I've been like moving around they haven't like smudged off or anything I'm gonna go ahead and like wash this off now because I've got a few things to do today so yeah big thumbs up from me they'll be linked in the description box below so definitely go ahead and check them out they are definitely a purchase to be made you can buy them in sets or you can buy them individually I'll have both links down in the description box below if you did enjoy this video please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I shall see you in the next video thanks so much for watching Bye. Shows they are newly newly launched. Hi everyone. Oh, hello. If you're coming back, then welcome. So it, mm, I've already put a. I've already put like a my least favorite shade, but when I shot 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 it.